Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add a glowing border effect to your blogger website. So here we can see we have this division over here and if I hover over this, we can see we have this glowing effect. And in one of my previous videos, I had already shown you how to design this from scratch using HTML and CSS. So in this video, we're going to see how to add this glowing effect to the elements in our blogger website. So let's get started. <laughs> Right here is the source code of our design and uh, this is the HTML and this is the CSS. Now I will leave the link of the source code in the description as well. Now you can go ahead and make changes over here. So here we can see in the H3 we have welcome written over here. So here we can see welcome is displayed over here. You can go ahead and add more elements over here. So let's add some image. So I'll just type IMG and let's get the link of an image. So here I'm in pixabay.com and let's search for technology. And let's just get the link of this image. I'll just right click over here and click on copy image address. And let's go back and paste the link over here in the SRC inside the IMG tag. And now we can see that the image is displayed over here. Now we need to decrease the size of this image using CSS. So let's go back to style or CSS and let's type glowing card IMG and I'll just set the width to 100%. Now these elements are one next to the other so we have to add everything inside a single division. So I'll just create a division with a class of content and I'll just cut the ending tag and paste it over here. And let's also add some text over here so I'll just create a paragraph and I'll just add some random text. And here we can see we have this card where we have the heading, the image and this paragraph. Let's add some quick CSS so let's go back to our style.css file and here in the glowing card I'll just add some padding so I'll just have padding and I will just set it to 24 pixels and we'll also add a line height to this uh, paragraph so here I'll just type glowing card P and line height 2 so now this is our card with the glowing background now you can go ahead and add your own data over here you can add a button if you want and it's all up to you you can change this card to whatever you want and then you can just go to the style.css file and you can change these values. So here I have set the height and the width of this glowing effect to 90% of the original element. So you can go ahead and change these values and see how it looks. For now this looks alright. So now let's copy this code to our blogger website. Now here I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website. So let's click on new post. And let's create a new post over here. And here I'll just add some titles. So I'll just type our best product. Alright now the next thing you have to do is click on this button and click on HTML view. By default it will be in the compose view so you have to choose the HTML view. And now here we can add the CSS and the HTML. So let's create a style tag over here. And here in the style tag we will add the CSS. So let's go back to our source code. And let's go to style.css file. And I'll just copy all this CSS. And let's go back and paste it over here. Alright now let's go outside the style tag and here we will add the HTML. So let's go back to our source code and let's go to the HTML file and I'll just copy all this HTML inside the body and let's paste it over here. Alright our HTML and CSS have been copied so let's click on publish and confirm. And now let's see whether the design works alright. So let's click on view. And here we can see that the card is being displayed. Let's hover over this. And we can see that the glowing effect is not being displayed. So in our original design when we hover over this we have the glowing effect. But it's not being displayed over here. So let's see what's the problem. Let's right click over here and click on inspect. Now in our design we had added the glowing effect to the after selector. So here we can see we have the after selector. And in that we have this uh, glowing effect. So if you go back to our source code and if you go to the style.css file here we can see for the glowing card division which is uh, this division right here we are adding an after selector and in the after selector we have this uh, linear gradient background color and this blur effect and all of that so that we have this uh, glowing effect over here. Now for the after selector we had added a z index of negative 1 so here we can see we have a z index of negative 1 and this works in our design because we don't have any other z index values. 
So what we will do is we will remove this after selector from here and we will add a division instead of that. So let's go to our index.html file and uh, we will create a new division and we will create a division as a container division. So let's type glowing card container and uh, I'll just cut this uh, ending tag from here and paste it down here. All right now we have this main container division called glowing card container and in that we have this glowing card division. Now after this division we'll create another division and we'll give it a class of glowing bg. Now we will use this division in place of the after selector. So let's go to our style.css file and we need to make some changes over here. Now here we need to add some of these CSS properties into our glowing card container division. So let's add this selector over here. So I'll just type glowing card container. And I'll just copy some of these CSS properties from here. So we need to copy the width and the height. And we also need to copy the margin to bring it to the center. And uh, we'll also copy the color and uh, the font family. And we also need to copy this uh, position relative. So we just got all these lines of CSS from here. And uh, let's add it over here inside the glowing card container. And let's go back to our design and let's see whether we have any problems. And we don't seem to have any problem. I think the height and the width are a little less. So for that we have to add a width and a height of 100% of the parent over here. And now we can see that the height and the width are correct. Now we need to remove this glowing effect from this after selector. So let's go back. And here we can see we have glowing card colon colon after. Now for the glowing effect we have created a division with the class of glowing bg. So what I will do is uh, I'll just remove this selector from here and I'll just type glowing bg. And here we need to type glowing card container. And then instead of after we need to type glowing bg. All right now let's see whether it works. So let's go back and let's hover over this element. And we can see that the glowing effect is being displayed over here. Now the position of the glowing effect is not correct. It is more towards the top left corner. So for that we have to add a line of code to our uh, glowing card container or all the elements inside the glowing card container. So here you have to type glowing card container and uh, then type asterisk to select all the elements inside this division. And here you have to type box sizing and set it to border box. Now this line of code will make sure that you have the correct height and width for the elements. So now let's go back and here we can see when we hover over this we have the correct glowing effect. Now we can just increase the height and the width over here. So I'll just increase this to 400 and 500 or let's decrease the width a little bit. So I'll just set it to 360 pixels and let's also decrease the height to let's say 450 pixels. All right now everything looks all right for this glowing effect. So now let's copy this code to our blogger website. So let's go back to our post and let's open this post. And let's replace all this code. So let's go back to our source code. And I'll just copy everything from the style.css file. And I'll just paste it over here inside the style tag. And uh, let's delete all this HTML from here. And we will add our updated HTML. So I'll just copy this code inside the body tag. And let's paste it over here. Now the problem that we had with the blogger website was the z index. So let's go to the glowing bg. So this is what we had added instead of the after selector. So let's remove this z index negative one from here. And now let's go to the glowing card. Now here we have to set a z index. So let's type z index and we'll type 100. So that this glowing card is above this glowing bg. And uh, since we have position of absolute over here, we have to add some position over here in the glowing card. So here I'll just type position and set it to relative. And let's click on update. Now let's go back to our post and let's refresh this page. And now let's hover over this and now we can see we have this glowing effect. So that's how you can add a glowing effect to the elements in your blogger website. Now I will leave the link of this code in the description of this video. So you can just copy and paste the code into your website. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.